Madden 23 is going to be facing a similar problem that Madden 22 faced, and I don't think a lot of people are realizing it once again. And with Madden 23 just a few short months away and all of the news that's about to start rolling in, I think it's time to get you guys prepared for what to expect in the upcoming game. Now, both Madden 21 and Madden 22 left a lot to be desired. I think 22 was probably better than 21 when you kind of just look at them as a whole. 21 was kind of a rock bottom year. 22 was a little bit of a step better, but nothing too crazy, nothing to write home about. But one thing that both games shared, and even Madden 22 shares this more than Madden 21, is that there were two completely separate games. And the same thing is going to happen in Madden 23. Now you see, over the past few years, we've just kind of gotten accustomed to having one Madden game. It doesn't matter what system you play on, it's going to be pretty much the same experience. And we've gotten that for years and years and years. But every time you go over to a new console generation, things start shifting to the newer technology and the old slowly gets left behind. Now with Madden 21, it initially launched on the current gen consoles at the time, which were the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox Series X. Months later, it was released on the new generation of consoles and it was a little bit different. The player movement was different. There were a few little new features, but nothing too crazy. Well, then comes Madden 22, the first full year on the newer consoles, which I guess now you would consider current gen with the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. And with that came two completely separate games, two completely separate experiences. And I warned people about this last year, but somehow it seems like they're forgetting about it again this year. It might be an even bigger problem this year, seeing as we're another year into the new consoles and the old is going to get more and more left behind. Now, when Madden 22 came out, a lot of people were aggravated because they said, wow, the new consoles got all of the new features, which wasn't completely true. Both generations of console did get the majority of the same features, but some of the bigger ones were only exclusive to the new consoles, like Home Field Advantage, like Game Day Momentum, like the new Super Bowl presentation, like the new pregame presentation a lot of the stuff that people really get excited over that wasn't there on the old consoles they were still getting the same thing that they had for the last four or five years the same pregame intros the same super bowl intros no momentum no home field advantage and it just kind of left them feeling like they were playing a version of the game that just wasn't complete and even if you jump over to the newer consoles People would already argue that the game doesn't feel complete as it is because it's still lacking so many of the older features that people have been wanting to come back. But now when you look at where they're going, they're getting some of those old features back on the newer consoles, but they're not getting them on the old consoles. And the same thing is going to happen again this year without a doubt, probably in an even more drastic way than it did last year. Is the old system going to be completely left untouched? No, they're still going to have some new features, but the next gen is going to continue to distance itself more and more from the older generations of console. Now in the past, this was really never that big of a problem because typically after about the first year, most people would migrate over to the newer consoles. People wanted to play on the newer consoles. Nowadays, things are a little bit different for multiple reasons. For one, when it comes to Madden, a lot of people still prefer the old movement on the older consoles versus the newer movement on the newer consoles. Now, on the new consoles, the movement is attempting to be more realistic, and I think it is in a lot of ways, but some people like the more video game arcade feel of the movement that is the older consoles. So, you still have people that could play on the new version of the game, but they're choosing to play on the older version because they just like the way it feels better. But the bigger issue is that there's still a lot of people that don't even have new consoles. And this wasn't as much of an issue years in the past as it is now, because at least when it comes to the PlayStation 5, those are still pretty hard to get. And a lot of people just simply don't want to pay resale to get them. Now, if you're an Xbox player, they're not quite as hard to get. You can get the cheaper version usually for retail. You can find them a little bit more commonly now but if you're a PlayStation guy you're probably still struggling or you had to overpay for the system so a lot of people are still stuck on the older consoles but they're not getting a lot of the newer advancements for the game they're not getting some of those new bells and whistles that the new generation of console is offering when it comes to Madden 23 I think you're going to see a much bigger gap than you saw in Madden 22 in fact I know you're going to see that because for Madden 22 
you know they actually did put a lot of little features in the game franchise mode got quite a bit of stuff they did a lot of stuff with presentation but a good bit of that was exclusive to the new system i would say the old generations of console probably got about 70 percent of the features it's still got more than half but some of the big ones some of the ones that were the biggest selling points and the most exciting well they didn't get those and we've already gotten some leaks which i will link below in the pinned comment about some gameplay stuff that is coming for madden 23 and i would not be surprised at all if those things are only going to be on the new consoles one of the biggest things they talked about in the leaks was that they were taking a little bit of a step back from the animation driven gameplay and they wanted to go even deeper into more realistic movement that wasn't driven by so many animations well that sounds like they're going further into the new player movement system that they already have on the new consoles and that does not exist on the old consoles. So if you're someone that likes more realistic movement, less animation driven gameplay, and you're still on the old consoles, there's a good chance you might not get that. They also talked about a completely new passing system that does sound like some of the older stuff we've had with target passing and things of that nature, but they've kind of updated it, made it easier to use. But a lot of the stuff they were talking about in this new passing system about being able to place the ball specifically exactly where you wanted it and putting it at the perfect spot for only your receiver to get it. That sounds like something that would also be based in the new movement system, which means again, it wouldn't be on the older consoles. And this is going to likely be one of the bigger selling points for the new game and making it more realistic. Now, just a quick side note, if you don't want to miss out on all the further Madden 23 information that we're going to be getting any day now for the next few months, make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you don't miss any of those videos when they go live. We're trying to get to 500k subscribers before Madden 23 comes out. So if all of you watching just subscribed, we would hit that number like maybe today or tomorrow. But to continue on here, a lot of these new features that we heard in the leaks, it sounds like stuff that would probably be exclusive to the new consoles. And we're starting to get to that point where the old consoles will still get some of the changes. Obviously, they're going to get everything kind of brought up to date in terms of rosters and teams and uniforms and the stuff like that that they have to update. But in terms of big features, I think you're going to start seeing less and less. And then within the next year or two, they're probably going to stop putting out a game on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One completely because that is what's always happened in the past but because people are still having trouble getting some of those new consoles i think it's leaving a lot of the fan base in a very hard spot where they want to have some of these new features but they don't want to overpay for consoles and they can't just go pick one up in the store like you used to be able to so we're gonna still be having two separate games more than ever before and i think this year it's gonna be a leap that is really gonna have the old gen people really feeling left behind if they felt left behind last year while still getting about 70 to 75 percent of the upgrades of the madden 22 game they're gonna probably feel way more left behind this year because i would be surprised if they even got half of the really notable stuff that's going to be happening in 23 especially what they're attempting to do with player movement and some of the new passing systems and the new tackling systems that they're trying to implement and if they do anything else with game day momentum and home field advantage and like keep building on these presentation things i don't think you're going to see that on the older systems and it's really kind of coming to that time where you've got to make an important decision to maybe either not play the game at all or bite the bullet and find a way to jump over to the new consoles but as always let me know what you think below and check out this video right here on the screen where i go over all of the leaks for madden 23 that we know so far i'll see you next time